Registered Phenomena Code 125 Object Class Alpha White Reclassification of Theta White Pending Please see Addendum RPC-125-02 Hazard Types Visual Hazard Sensory Hazard Containment Protocols RPC-125 is to be contained at Site-007 in a Standard Security Containment Locker. Basic Alpha Containment Protocols are to be followed with RPC-125. Access to RPC-125 is freely available to those with Level 2 clearance or higher. Personnel accessing RPC-125 should record their name, date, reason for access, and duration of access in Log RPC-125-01. RPC-125 is a modified Telstar predicted media television, created or modified by Amazing Co., as indicated by the latter's logo beneath the television screen. It is indicative of televisions of the 1950s sitting on three legs with a swivel screen on top. It is black with brass accents and logos. A single dial on the front lists numbers from 1 to 13. Beneath the dial is a single red switch that will turn RPC-125 on or off. The panel around this dial appears to change color depending on the angle it is viewed from. RPC-125 weighs kilograms, which is more than five times the normal weight for the non-anomalous model of a similar television. It is able to be turned on at any time despite lacking any power source or a plug-in cord. When turned on, RPC-125's anomalous effects are made apparent. Any viewer of RPC-125 standing at any angle will see through the screen as though it were a window. For example, a subject standing 30 degrees to the left of center and a subject standing 30 degrees to the right would have a slightly different angle on what RPC-125 shows them. The area viewed through RPC-125 appears as though it did exactly one hour before. The dial on the front of RPC-125 may be adjusted up to 13, and the screen will show that many hours before instead. The screen may also be rotated up to one quarter turn in either direction without any disruption of effects. Any rotation of display will adjust with subject view accordingly. Further anomalous effects manifest in subjects during extended viewing. Any subject viewing RPC-125 will begin to experience immediate change of visual stimuli. Over the course of the first ten minutes of viewing RPC-125, subjects' vision will slowly shift to appear grayscale like that of 1950s-era television. After between 10 and 30 minutes, viewers will start to see scan lines and visual distortions in line with the previous effect. Subjects who continue to view RPC-125 will experience a slow degradation of visual quality until all vision is obscured by signal static after a total of one to three hours of viewing has passed. Testing shows these effects last a duration of approximately one day per minute spent viewing RPC-125. Discovery RPC-125 was discovered in a warehouse in Sweden, alongside a number of other anomalous Amazing Co. products during a raid by Hotel 01, the Highlanders, upon details reported by a local authority agent. It was packaged in a wooden crate along with a single sheet of paper. Recorded in Addendum RPC-125-01 Addendum RPC-125-01 Congratulations, from Señor José Increble. You have purchased Amazing Co.'s newest invention, the grand and glorious Retrovision. They say to go forth with confidence. One must learn from the past. We here at Amazing Co. agree. So we created a spectacular Retrovision, to let you do just that. Set up Retrovision anywhere you want. Turn it on and watch the past. Retrovision. Watch yesterday, today. Amazing Co. is not responsible for any negative effects experienced while using Retrovision. Addendum RPC-125-02 Look, I don't care how many times you reapply. This thing weighs a damn ton, and it has to be moved around with a pallet jack. Not to mention it messes up people for months afterwards, and only lets you look back half a day. It has a corner case use at best. Please stop trying to get your precious research project classified as Theta. I promise you, Dr. Bl if we ever need to know what happened a few hours before, and somehow none of our security cameras can provide anything, you're the first we will go to. 
Nevertheless, this is remaining Alpha. Site-007 Director Dr. Yoon Kim Hung